This is my absolute favorite time of year, the harvest season. I just love it. I like putting up produce and the thought of cooking my recipes in the fall when it starts to get a little cold outside. I just love it. I'm back with my tomatoes. I had to stop at three produce stands to get them. I would have bought more, but this year, well, they didn't have hardly any. And she said that they had lost 60% of their crop this year. Thank a farmer. We are so grateful to farmers. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put up your homegrown tomatoes or tomatoes that you've bought at a farmer's market. The recipe comes from the Griffiths Family Recipes. And I just want to show you and take a moment and show you how beautiful this layout is in our book. We, we had so much fun doing this. This is our kids. That's Chad and the girls and Bo. And this is in our backyard when we did our photo shoot. That's our son Bo canning tomatoes with us. And Bonnie out picking tomatoes with her dad. So here's the recipe, and I'm gonna let you look at that and write it down if you want to. And this is the process. So you can follow along with me, and if you need to write that down, you can. And if you want to purchase the e-version of our cookbook, it's at griffithscookbook.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. I bought two bushels of tomatoes. That should do me about 36 quarts. My quarts are all clean. I've got some over here on the cabinet, as well as on this cabinet where I just took some out of the dishwasher. I have my rings and my fresh lids right here. I will be putting a teaspoon of salt and sugar and a tablespoon of lemon juice in the bottom of each quart jar. I've got some water here. I'll add about a fourth a cup of water to each jar to dissolve the sugar and salt. Right here is the my blanching station. I have some water ready to put these tomatoes into here. I'll carry them over to the sink where I will have some ice water ready to cool them off and then I'll put them in the jars. Outside is where I have set up my canning station and I have the water in here is getting ready for that process and then I will put everything here on this table and cover them with the towel. So my prep work is all done, my kitchen is set up in zones and I'm ready to bottle tomatoes. The first thing you want to do is put some tomatoes in the water in a very short amount of time you're going to see the tomato skin split just a little and then you'll know that it's really close to being time can you see that see where it's split it just takes just a few minutes so when they're split like that and I, this is how I work. I do about a Tupperware full of tomatoes at a time. And adding some ice cubes because I want to add that, the hot tomatoes to this water and cool them off quick. Let's see. Oh, I have ice <laughs> My Ellie, and she calls me frequently. We talk to each other all the time, don't we, Ellie? Yes, we do. Today we're talking about food storage. Thanks for saying hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> so cute. I like to work with a batch of about eight at a time, and I will put a teaspoon of iodized salt in each quart jar. I'll also add a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of lemonade, not lemonade, of real lemon juice. 
I'll then pour about a quarter cup of boiling water in each jar. That's just enough to melt the sugar and salt. Just stir each jar quickly. take a knife and I slide it down the side of the jar like this and I remove all the air pockets. See? I just try to get all the air pockets out of there and I push these down in there and I fill it as full as I can up to this point. About the time you can see where the lid screws on I give it that much air. I don't come all the way to the top. I give it about, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a half an inch. About, about that full. I wipe off the jar. And that's really important that you have this wiped off clean so that the lids will seal. And I just make sure that the jar is clean and then I put a fresh new lid on it. These are the lids that I use. And you can reuse the rings and as long as they're good, just keep reusing them. And I tighten those down, not horribly tight, but they're pretty tight. And then I just add to my collection until I have enough of these to put inside of my water bath canner. Something that I think is so dang fun is when I come across jars that I recognize. Like, I know that when I first got married, my sister made me some apple pie filling, and she gave them to me in these jars. And I know that this one was Chad's mother's, and it looks like any other curd jar, but it's not. It's got a really fat lip here, and the new jars don't have that. That's another one of my kids, I'm sure. Anyway, I love that. I have eight quarts of tomatoes in my water bath and the water is just covering the lids. I will leave the lid on the water bath and let that boil for kind of a low rumble boil steam hot <laughs> for 55 minutes. I know I am really spoiled to have this nice patio where I can put my produce on a table outside of my kitchen and I've got these camp stove set up. It's just a really nice setup. We have been using this camp chef for about the last, I don't know, dang near 30 years probably. We really have enjoyed this. You can see it's, it's weathered, but it's been a good one for us. And I sure like being able to do this outside 
Um, it just takes all the pressure off of you in the kitchen to have that mess outside. Because my tomatoes are a little on the green side, I'm going to process what I have in the water bath today and I'm going to wait to do the other uh, tomatoes in a couple of days. So I'm just going to clean up my mess in the kitchen and I'm going to leave my pots on the stove and leave things set up, but I'm going to clean around them and I'll just leave them up for a few days. I was also going to tell you that if you don't have ice cubes, it is not critical when you're doing the tomatoes. Put it in the sink, add cold water, that's fine. If you're doing peaches, it better be pretty cold water because you do want to snap the heat out of the peaches real fast because you don't want mushy peaches. But with the tomatoes, they're gonna cook in the, in the processor anyway and Really, I think the reason why we put the cold water on them is just so we can touch them with our hands without burning ourselves. Now, let me tell you something. I am going to be thinking of you every time I use this bowl because look, all these years I've had this bowl. Can you see that? And this year, because I had it too close to the stove and, and I was looking at you, I melted my Tupperware. So it's your fault, but I'll think about you whenever I use it, okay? Tomatoes have been in for about 55 minutes and they are ready to come out. And I want to hurry and get this done because the weather is cooling off and I don't want the air to hit these and break them. So I'm taking them out as fast as I can. My battery is blinking. I want to get this wrapped up. I'm going to take these out, put them in the towel so that the so they don't break. I'll just keep those covered. I will say goodbye to you here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And if you liked it and you want to see more, subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.